Good afternoon, fellas. Gonna be a quick one today. If you didn't already know, one of the most unique RSPSs will be releasing on the 26th of July. As we're only a couple of days away from launch, I thought I should give you a little sneak peek on what to expect when logging in. And we are online, fellas. First impressions, I am really liking this home area. Before I go ahead and show off the map, the first thing you want to be doing while logging in is colon colon refer. This will bring up the referral list and make sure to click your boy Gibber and this will give you a lovely referral mystery box. Up north you can find the teleporter portal as well as the Slayer teleporter. A little next to that you can find a couple of stars. The PVM, Skillin, Boss Token, General, Tazar and Herblor. Even more shops up east. One for each attack style actually. You got yourself a trivia star, attack dummies, rejuvenation pool, spellbook altar and regular altar. If you make your way up north you'll find the AFK zone. It looks like you can find all the skills here. Woodcutting, mining, fire making, crafting, smithing and fishing. You can also level up your defense and hit points using this attack dummy. I don't think I've ever seen this before in an AFK zone. How strange. This area is for non-donators. On the other hand, donators can enter the corrupt AFK zone. Here you can basically find the same stuff, but it's double the XP from the normal one. You can't go wrong. Global boss is the huge thing on this server. When a global boss spawns, you want to enter the city gate and attack it. I can't lie, I don't know if I'm able to kill this alone. Definitely not able to kill this alone. The loot table from here is absolutely insane. Most notably being the giant champion scroll at 1 in 5,000. If you manage to get that on launch, you will be known as a king. Uh, the rares looks like you get onyxes, some defenders, $10 bond, and a $25 rank boost. The uncommons aren't too bad either, and then it starts getting a bit stinky when it gets to the commons. One of the main things that intrigued me about this server was the perk and prestige system they have. It's very simple to know what you're buying. You can even go to info and have a look at exactly what the perks do. So for fluid strikes, melee attacks are twice as fast. That's a really nice one to have. I believe the way to climb up tiers is by gathering two of each perk from each tier. So let's say I buy fluid strikes and I also go ahead and buy boner boosts. Let's be honest, I don't really need that one, but... And of course, the higher the tier is, the better the perks are. You got tiers for PVM, tiers for skilling, and tiers for utility. Buying a perk will cost a point from each tokens. And the way to earn these tokens are really simple. It is as simple as playing the game. Doing any type of PVM will give you PVM points. Any type of skilling will give you skilling points. So currently we are doing a bit of mining. And look at that, every single time we mine, we get ourselves some skilling tokens. It's really as simple as that. I've not yet finished looking through some of these perks. Some of them are really OP. Just like this one, the resource gatherer. Chance to receive times to the amount of resources while gathering. So if one point that gives you a 10% chance, two points a 21% chance, three a 33, four a 45, and with five points you've got a 60% chance of receiving double the amount of items. Perks like this definitely change the way you play the game. Especially when you get all the way up to tier five. Like, have a look at this guardian perk. Summon a Guardian who would aid you in combat. The Guardian is strong and will attack the combat style which is the strongest against the enemy. I don't know about you, but seeing stuff like that really gets me motivated into progression into the end game. A place you'll be seeing me quite often is the Gambling Zone. Flower Poker is definitely my favourite gambling game on RuneScape, so I'm pretty happy to see there's four tables you get to play with. I wonder how much money I have to lose until I click this dice. If you're a fan of collection logs, don't you worry, as August has plenty of logs to collect, over 661 collection logs here. These are all coming from bosses, mini games, and raids. This server is also packed with raids. There's Theatre of Blood, Tombs of Damascus, and also a fully custom raid called the Olympian. This raid is incredibly difficult, so if you're a fan of hard mechanics, this is definitely one you'll enjoy. There's so much more I could show off on this server. But I'm going to be ending this video a little short. If you are wanting to know more about the release, make sure to join the Discord with the link down below. I'm really excited for this one, lads. I feel like the RSPS scene is needing a fresh twist, and I for sure think this could be the one that we're needing. Once again, thank you all for watching to the end. I'll be going live on the 26th to showcase the release as well. So I hope to see you all there, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.